I hope some of you followed up my tip that Arsenal could get something out of the game at Stamford Bridge last week, because they were decent or did like to think him a tactical genius who worked out Chelsea's weakness, but the reality is I reckoned Arsenal still have a lot of very good players who would have been insulted that they were given no chance by just about the whole world. No one would say it publicly, because they are still a big club, but, deep down, a lot of those players would have been bursting to go out and show a few of their critics. You can criticise Arsene Wenger all you like, and everybody does, but, regardless of the stick he gets all the time, you have to admit he doesn't often sign mugs. They have good players and a decent team when they're all on it. And I think they are on it now, because quite a few of them realise they're going nowhere for six months or so, and so will have decided to knuckle down. Arsene Wenger had his tactics spot on at Stamford Bridge image wreck Shutterstock Arsene Wenger ups his interest in Schalke midfielder Leon Goretzka I'm not saying they will suddenly become title contenders, but it would NT surprise me if they are around the top four from now on. And they can do well in the Europa League too, because they have a strong enough squad to get through the early stages and then a high quality side when the real competition kicks in. It does my head ink, by the way, when people say the Europa League ISNT worth winning. I won it when it was the UEFA Cup. As a kid, I had dreamt of scoring the winning goal in a European final, and I was so close to it. But, in the end, what mattered most was we won the trophy and I got the medal.